So when we look at history, you also see, subhanAllah, the Muslims passed through this. And I want to mention something, because many ulama authors in this subject, Ibn Hajar for example, Suyuti, and many others, is mentioned by one of the ulama uh, in the year, his name is Shihabuddin Ahmed bin Yahya bin Abi Hajra. He mentioned the year 449 Hijri, that there was a ta'un that covered the entire earth. And he says in this situation, it was nothing like it. People were getting sick. And he said even in Mecca it entered. And many people, they died in there. And he also then mentions that when this occurred, it was killing even the animals, the birds and the wuhush, the wild animals and the gazelles and the dogs and the cats. Even it was killing that which is considered from the property of the people like the camels. And he says then when this occurred, there was nowhere safe, but it was only known from those places which were safe was Medina Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Again, when we look at the hadith, 449 Hijri. The hadith of the said, it's not going to enter, it didn't enter. And then he continues talking about how it got so bad, it entered Egypt even, and Cairo, and every day 20,000 people were dying. Some say 25,000, some say 27,000. And then he said, as we got to the point where it was so severe, the people were going out to the masajid and making dua. And he said they would fill the masajid as if it was Ramadan. And they would make dua and they were increasing qunut. Even he says, Ahlul Dhimma came out and the atfal. Even the kufar they came to make dua with them and the children. And then he said it was so bad they were burying daily. The imam would make janaza daily in the masajid. Sometimes more than 60 people on one salah. And he said the khatibs were doing qunut and the salawat and dua and it continued like this. Until he said at one moment, People were in dire situation, making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same way they would do in Ramadan. And it says then it passed them a time where there was severe wind. And the wind put up, uh, raised dust that was brownish in color, then red, then black, until the people were covered in darkness. And three hours of darkness till they thought it was going to end, but still continued until finally it left. And these situations, when you read them, you can't believe that. Right? How the Muslim they lived through these. And this is one of the many they mention history. And when we compare this to what we're seeing now, we still see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has much rahmah on us. But we take all this together, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. And we have to ask Allah, and we have to beg Him, but we have to also take the means. And all this is a reminder because at the end of the day, we are human beings, we forget. And I decided just to pick this topic because again, of the situation, and to share this for wide. And inshallah, with that much, we'll end. If anyone has any questions or something they wish to add, or to benefit by us, inshallah.